Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, you are watching Remstar Says So. Let's get right off this. It's been a big sort of 12 hours for sort of boxing, especially if you are a PBC sort of fan or you follow Al Heyman, uh, what he's doing over there. Wow. If you're American as well, a great afternoon and evening of boxing. Started off with the Eubank Miguel and then followed up for the super middleweight vacant WBC title uh, between Yildirim and Durrell. Great fight. Um, and Anthony Durrell, as you know, has now picked up the WBC title for the second time. Um, looking at that picture, there's a phrase that goes around the boxing industry, which says, you don't play boxing. You cannot play boxing. It's not like football. It's not like tennis. When you go into boxing, it's two guys standing in the middle of the ring trying to take each other's heads off. Um, and, you know, every boxing fight you have, it can take days, months, years off your life. Like, you know, we've actually seen people lose their life in a boxing ring or become uh, sort of inca incapacitated for the rest of their life. Anybody who steps into a boxing ring, you've got to sort of respect them, whether this is at the amateur or the professional sort of game, uh, just because, you know, you can step in that ring in one state and leave a completely different one. Anthony Durrell, um, I had him down as the favourite for that fight before. Um, I just thought he was going to be a little bit too much for Yildirim. Um, and this was mainly off the basis of Chris Eubank Jr. really sort of controlled and made easy work of Anthony Yildirim. Um, and yeah, what happened was there was an accidental head clash in the 10th round. Um, and the judges scored it for a technical decision um, to Durrell. I think Darrell would have won the fight regardless, and he was way in front on the judges' scorecards anyway. Um, so where does this sort of leave the division right now? Um, well, right now, after looking at this fight, I think the judges scored this fight. One judge had 96-94, 96-94 for Darrell, and then there was one judge who was definitely smoking crack who had it 98-92 for Yildirim. Um, I don't understand what that judge was watching. Anybody who was watching the fight could see that Darrell was winning at least two. I actually had him maybe three or four sort of rounds up um, at that point. Um, so I'm not really too sure what that judge was watching, what he was scoring against. Um, the thing about judging in boxing is that, you know, you just don't know what clown is going to show up. Every single judge that you have... Uh, some judges judge on different things. Some judges judge on the aggressor. Some judges judge on who's hit the most. Some judges judge on who's landed the most power punches. Every judge has their own sort of special sort of technique of how they score and view a fight. But I don't know, 98, 92 for Yildirim, that's just absolute fucking bollocks if you ask me, mate. Um... So, yeah, I hope that that judge who scored that 98-94, 98-92 to Yildirim, I hope he just retires and goes and works at McDonald's for the rest of his life or something because he has no business scoring a professional fight, especially for a world heavyweight, for a world championship match. Um, so what do I want to see? I would love to see Darrell in a unification for the IBO and WBC titles um, against Chris Eubank. This fight is easy to make. They're both PBC fighters. Um, I'm sure Darrell would want to come over to the UK and sort of get some of this pay-per-view money because I couldn't see it being a pay-per-view fight in America. Chris Eubank, I think, has been sort of exclusively fighting on ITV's box office channel recently, and I'm sure um, Al Heyman has secured him a few good paydays. I did see after the fight, though, Chris Eubank was talking about maybe going down to... Um, back to middleweight but I think there's enough fights here um, I'd love to see an undisputed champion in the super middleweight division um, and I'd love to see who comes out on top uh, let me know your thoughts guys do you think that Darrell versus Eubank would be a great fight should it happen in the UK should it happen in the US who wins if that is the case um, hit like hit subscribe comment share this video hit me up you're watching Remstar says so thanks guys